your emotions. Am oh, I right? was he? No, could oh, open the door. Yeah. <laughs> Everything happens quick when it's uh, a fast night like tonight, and uh, you don't have time to comp- just re- emotionally or process what's going on. So, Jury, right Ian, now? Davon, Kevin, um, David. You know those people don't like any of those people left in the house, do they? To, uh, no, but... Ian likes the car. Oh. You know, I, um, to Not me, anymore. they did or banished, they won't last year. But they come here all-star season and have an opportunity to get this far in the game. Um, God knows how. Not winning many comps, not winning what I really needed to. Um, he looks emotional. That I, uh, it took a double eviction to get me out. Or a triple eviction to get me out. Oh. Really? The bigger uh, targets went before you. Look, Judy's like, I didn't say anything. Uh, Bitch, it came up on the screen, obviously. Did you come back to play this time around to prove something? Fucking hell, what a sloppy show. I know. Or did you come back to win a house? Did Judy say I'm not going to say anything about triple? Yeah. Oh, fuck's sake. Dr. Will already blew uh, it up. So to make a pretty, statement to um, society. I felt like I could win last year, absolutely. Um, now I wanted to prove that I can play. I wanted to prove that my social game. How did that go? Um, if I can't just win these comps against some of the best I've ever played, that I can at least socially get along with everyone to the level that I can get past. <laughs> it did work, mate. Get past a few live evictions, which I did. Um, and I won in the dark. I won <laughs> power in the same comp <laughs> that took me out of this game. The, the way they're shooting this, so, look. I'm uh, underneath. That was my proudest moment ever. To grab that power. <laughs> it's and it's like moody. Yeah. Floor, you know, it's it weird. my journey in this game that much longer. Let's talk about when you grab the 10 grand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, at least he's got his 10 grand, doesn't it? Do you think... Fair play for taking it. It's more than fair play, Skets. It's more than I've got in my bank. You went for the money. Me too. Do you think that has anything to do with why you're sitting here with me right now? I've got 200 quid. <laughs> um, but, um, it definitely has some effect on the game, ultimately. Um, but I, I, I get a process of this probability. Like, when I grab that shirt and I look at how many people are going to go back up, I can guarantee winning something right now. This is my moment. And then I can worry about the process afterwards. Um, coming into this, this eviction with me next to Nicole, I didn't see Christmas in Memphis given an opportunity to play HOH and Vito, truly keeping me instead of Nicole. Um, giving the 10 grand but Christmas I, I didn't did see vote. I tried to campaign. And what, see if I why did Christmas, Christmas and Tyler vote to evict Nicole? Um, Alliance. I've been trying for a couple of I mean, weeks, they saw an opportunity which day. everyone else should yeah. have taken. Yeah, I don't, know why, Enzo didn't, I don't know why Enzo it's didn't do it. Me neither. Regret taking the 10 grand? Enzo's no, no. In my, on my shit list. I was expecting Enzo to do it. Me too, because he's been talking to David about a time to sort of mess it up. It's time to stop going for the Kevins and the Davids. What did you just do, Enzo? Well, Kevin and David gone now, so... This came this time around. Oh, very difficult. Um... Playing with people who uh, have vast experience, have experienced house getting smaller, have experienced getting the to house the final don't get chair, smaller. Being in the final three, um, <laughs> getting nominated. It feels like it when they take away the chairs. Live <laughs> fiction speech for the first time, doing some of these comps for the very first time. People have done some of these comps a few times. Um, it's been so it's much breathing heavy. Yeah, that I was thinking that. Like, He's like, like me with that face mask on in the shop earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about that bird. You have to put a fake face on the plane. Getting a chance to truly play out the last year has been so amazing. Just to actually play. No. Great. Oh, I'm you glad he got a chance. You were wrongly accused of oh. voting out Ian. Yeah. Yes. Mm, frustrating was Yeah. Fun. It was uh, very frustrating. Um, you know... Uh, David's getting along in the What the fuck? I don't know. Trust with Avon, and that was he didn't get one last year. That was such a great move <laughs> by Nicole and her alliance to flip the boat in that way. It was a great move. Oh, no. And create an opportunity it was. for people closest to me to then turn on me and, and, got, and just work with them to get me out. It was... I always said it, you know, it's, I see the chess being played. I just never had the power to play against it. Any final thoughts? Jury House is jury? officially can't come um, back now. I am proud Pretty and vindicated. Much. I feel uh, redemption was for winning. Yeah, would've Ian is Cliff Hogg. <laughs> to win is, is it, but um, given what I've experienced, given where I've gotten, given I've won 10 grand outside of you know just the normal play, I'm proud. And I'll go on, David. Well, so
You're not the last person headed to jury today. Yes. I know you and the others saw the sign behind ah, it. it's fucking She's idiots. Surprised. I'm confirming it. It's a surprise. We will see you back here. Today. That is amateur. That is that really so bad. That, that, that is never happened on Big Bird UK awful. or before the camera. That, that is really right bad. You have to confirm it to your former housemates now, right? Yeah, they already know, right. Julie. What's the fucking point? House guests, I need everyone to gather in the living room right Let's wait for the break. Yeah. All okay. seven of you. They already fucking know, Julie. At least she admitted it. It's better they admit it than try and cover it up still, isn't it? It's, it's such a mess. Shameful, isn't it? So is the 22 thing. years and you're still fucking up like this. <laughs> Amateur hour. 21 years. Yeah. There's two seasons, weren't you? <laughs> what? There was two seasons one year. This was BB22, right. no? Yeah, so there was two seasons Oh, it wasn't called a number. I want to yeah. congratulate you all uh, no, on surviving. <laughs> oh, when I had to write a story. Yeah, that, yeah. that's the good news. Oh, I think you also everyone looks so pissed. pissed. On the screen behind me. Uh, yes, that's right. We are not That's right. Yes, tonight is indeed <laughs> Christmas a downturn now. eviction. Since when you got to do this? <laughs> uh, Since we learned from Baby Cat. Oh, expect the unexpected Jesus. All right. So, listen up. Everyone looks pig sick. I hope you were all listening when Dr. Will told oh, you God. that he thought he was an awesome player because he always planned three moves ahead. Just like I at, hope uh, you Tyler all planned I thought two steps ahead, moves. wasn't oh, it? about you. Yeah. <laughs> Three, get it? Triple eviction. Yeah, All right, we Julie, got we got it. Got it. Fucking yes, hell. Yes, you do. <laughs> so even Tyler's sick of that. I'm sorry. Our humans are a little scared right now. Mm-hmm. Oh, what? Oh, it's a little scared. Uh, oh, you are all about to battle through a whole nother week of Big Brother. Oh, right here, right now. By the end of this right hour. Here, right, now, star, right, right here, here right now. Right here, right now. Who is that? Chemical Boy. Okay, yeah. uh, it's either Chemical or Cat Boy Slim. Also, I think Cat Boy Slim, actually. Yeah, it's not oh. the other. Good luck, everybody. Up next. What's she really got underneath that? Down as no. a new flesh colored new dress. Yeah, nude. Who's it gonna be? Really serious as well. New tube. Let's pause, let's get a top up. <laughs> new tube. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're pausing. Breaking news just in. Mm. The President of the United States, Donald Trump, has gone to hospital for his COVID-19. POTUS, grab a ventilator. I feel like... (laughs) I was like, let's not talk about this yet, because there was something that I wanted to say on the podcast, but I'm so drunk I can't fucking remember it. It was... Was it just hope he dies again? (laughs) (laughs) I did say all along, if one good thing happens out of COVID... That was it. It's that if it gets Trump, that's it. But I don't really like to wish death upon someone. Oh, no. It's uncouth, isn't it? It's uncouth, but mm. he's a rotten piece Ma- of shit. Make an exception in this case. Oh, I know what it was. I was oh. going to tell you about what he said about mm. the Proud Boys. Uh, what the fuck is that? Obviously, it's a bunch of fucking white supremacist. <laughs> what are you going to say then? <laughs> old ass white men from America. Oh, yeah. Probably a few young ones Sounds too. about right. Did you not watch the highlights from the debate with Biden? No, I did a fuck. I, what do I care? Something to do with me. <laughs> <laughs> it's international news. That Biden guy looks ready to drop. He's so old. Drop dead. As well. Mm. Then I just realised when we were watching the news earlier, of course he had to test because he was in the same room as Trump. Oh, yeah, of course. He was like a foot away from him. Mm. A safe distance, but clearly. he's been wearing his mask and mm. he's good. He's all good. So basically... The moderator was criticised in the debate for not controlling Trump mm. because who can control Trump? Like, <laughs> you're supposed to get like two minutes to speak oh, each yeah. time. Oh, it's like Basically. Judy Chen and those housemates doing their eviction speeches. Exactly. They ought to put <laughs> Trump in the old Big Brother Australia nominations booth <laughs> and then only turn his microphone on for two minutes. That's what I think should happen. <laughs> Trump is Dave on. Anyway, is he? <laughs> yeah, oh, just speaking ramb- for too long. rambling on and on. Just well, stop. <laughs> he kept interrupting Biden, and then Biden got to the point mm. where he went, oh, shut up, man. <laughs> Which, like, fair play, but also, that's, that's not a good look like either. Otif. It's not a good shut look, is up, it, man. to tell them to shut up no. in a debate. I heard it was the most undignified president's oh, debate ever. Oh, my God. It's the most undignified television I've ever seen. Well, I've well, seen a lot of undignified TV. I've seen a lot of I've seen Kinga sit on a wine bottle. <laughs> Um, well, there's not going to be any more, are there? Because Trump's sick now, so who's Biden going to debate with himself? In Trump will 
dial in via Zoom or something. <laughs> but um, anyway, well, that moderator goes, "What would you say to white supremacists?" And Trump's like, "Oh, yeah. oh well, you, you know, what, who are you talking about?" Like, oh, oh well, yeah. it's like, "Will you condemn the white?" Supremacists? Oh, yeah, well, yeah, I will. <laughs> it's like, "Well, we we do it now." I was like, "Well, who? <laughs> Give me a name. Like, who who are we talking? What's the name you're talking about?" And he yeah. goes, "Well, you who know, the, the Proud Boys. Apparently, <laughs> they're called the Proud Boys. Like that name alone, <laughs> fucking just fucking homophobically abused me by yeah. itself." <laughs> And then he goes, oh, what I'll say about the Proud Boys is I'm yeah. just going to fucking turn off again. Quick, wiggle it. Trump says, wiggle it just a little stand bit. Stand down yeah. and stand by. Yeah. Stand by. Stand by. Stand by means you're good for wait, a, wait for a minute yeah. and then you can bring it. Yeah. Can like you the imagine how that emboldens mm. racist people in America to Trump. hear the president say stand down, stand by, stand down and stand by. Trump been retweeting all this for Britain shit and all this fucking big shit. Yeah, stuff. you retweeted some shit that, you know, Statue defenders some of that, and all that party that Morrissey likes, you know. Trump retweeted some of that shit. I just thought this is the worst thing that could have happened. It's mm. actually a tragedy. Mm. Those fucking Proud Boys or whatever, those white supremacists. <laughs> proud Boys. Are so proud of you. They're celebrating <laughs> that the, the president is supporting them. And they're using that in the manifesto. They're literally using the catchphrase, stand by, stand down, stand are down, they? Stand I bet by. they are. Yeah, they are. The ironic part is, mm-hmm. they sound gay as hell being called the Proud Boys, <laughs> but they're probably homophobic as fuck. Of course they are. That's the interesting part. Yeah. <laughs> it's disgusting. It's shit. It's oh, disgusting. But look, guys, let's just keep our nose out of that. Do you know business. what? I watched that David Attenborough film this week, and mm. it's all about how the environment is fucked. And mm. America is like, Trump's removed... America from like environmental agreed agreements oh, yeah. and the United Nations and David Amber said who... this is a time for internationalism not nationalism mm. and he's so fucking right and all that I see from like Brexit to Trump and fucking white supremacists is more and more nationalism and like what is going on mate you should try watching 90 day fiance these people are just America 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 they just they just don't get it they never leave the country they don't think outside of America. Yeah, but you know, I think that about my overriding sort of view on Americans, and I'm sorry this might offend you, I love like, Americans. oh, they're insular people and they don't look outside of their own country and they're so arrogant and they only think about America first. Hold on, that's a convinced However, stereotype. so many people are not like that and there's mm. so many Americans that I know that break the stereotype who mm. are like open-minded. i got friends that I met travelling when I was in Thailand. I met this really nice American girl and I was like, oh my God, you're not what I thought an American was. Because mm. she's like, seen the world. She's been around the world. And, ay, 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 ay. <laughs> um, and I've seen her like years later and she's like open-minded and wouldn't tolerate any of this shit mm. given the choice. Nor would any of our American friends that we l- listen, nor would my friends who work in the chariot that I'm working Every with. Every American I've ever met has been absolutely wonderful. And that's a fact. I had... When I was at university, my best friend was American, and she was just oh, really? I didn't the know most. That. She was there on, as an exchange student, and she was just the most. I'm still friends with her now. She was just the most brilliant person I've ever met. I was literally cowering away in the halls of residence on my own, listening to Morrissey, and she was like, "Come on, come out, get out, get out of this room, come on." She dragged me out. She got me to all the cool parties, all the cool places. <laughs> she was just mm. so. But when she talked about how they were in schools and how they had to like. Pledge allegiance to the flag every I morning, and we would talk. We would talk like we would have deep chats because we'd be off our fucking nut most of the time. Mm. But we, she would talk about like how like it's just fucking ingrained in you about I love America, I love, and mm. I, in a way I was kind of jealous that we don't have that. Like we have no national pride whatsoever, but it's mm, too wrong much. People do. I know, but it's too much. It's like we ha- we're the opposite. We've almost have. Zero national pride. We're almost yeah, embarrassed. It's embarrassing. Yeah, because it's been our flag has been overtaken by the National Front and other racist extremist groups. Mm. But in a way, I was like, oh my god, they are so proud to be American, proud to proud, be American, yeah. and so proud of their country. It was quite, I, it was fascinating in a way. And I mm. like Americans. It's such a, it's oh, it's so opposite. It's such a, but just their general enthusiasm for life and their lust for oh, life. Yeah. And we are cynical and miserable, and that's a cliche as well, but uh, <laughs> I don't know, there's just so many cool American people who I love dearly, but there's just such a lot of pig-ignorant ones as well. Mm. But there's a hell of a lot of fucking Tory twats in this country as well, so... 
What can yeah. you do? What are you going to do? Of course. Find your people. But this country them. voted for Brexit. This country doesn't want refugees oh. to come here or asylum seekers or whatever. Mm. A lot of people. And this country still complains about having a black person an advert for a bank. And it ain't just old people. No, it's not. It's, not. it's really like not. Billy Steele, whatever it's called. The guy that got lumped oh, in yeah. the fucking tube. <laughs> I mean, he's not young. He's no. not old either. No, but yeah.